What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to Grateful Panic Night Reviews. I'm so glad that you stopped by, and I hope at the end of the video you are too. Um, today we're gonna finish up uh, the boxless unboxing. The uh, well, as as Jason Brown put it, and it makes a whole lot of sense. An unboxing without the box is just an uning. So this is part two of the uning. And uh, these are gonna be uh, Scott Big Boy Williams' knives. And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy uh, this, this video because there's some pretty epic knives going on in here. Uh, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and knock out a quick panic dump and beverage check. And today, um, I am doing something a little weird. I'm carrying just the uh, Monterey Bay knives field trekker along with a uh, slip joint of sorts that you guys just recently saw the Luna um, this is the River's Edge cutlery edition and oh and no your um, eyes are not playing tricks on you my eyes are because I had to take my glasses up because they broke and I need them so I am officially a nerd today and I'm cool with that got no problem with it um, also a uh, little Holiday Leatherworks organizer with the uh, Machine Era markup and Alox Pioneer and the Eagle Tech D25C Titanium. Um, that's it. I think. Oh, bank. Where's the bank? It's in my pocket. It's in my back pocket. I'm sitting on. So hard to get to. And oh uh, yeah, I got the. They'll steal your face again today. So, um, and today I'd like to send a big old hearty grateful panic cheers out to um, man. and you guys. I know you guys know him. I know you've seen him in, in uh, a bunch of live streams. He's a real good guy. But uh, uh, Gino V, oh brother Gino, and he's got um, a very he recently started an Instagram account and uh, yeah. Just in a couple of short weeks, he's already up over uh, 200 followers, and it's uh, always EDC and shots, and there's some underscores in there. But I will drop a link to his Instagram in the description, so you guys go check him out and give him a follow and uh, like his posts. Um, but brother Gino, cheers, my friend. Oh, beverage check. What the heck? Uh, some more Centennial IPA from Founders. But uh, cheers, brother Gino. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this and that. Let's go ahead and dive on down and get up close and personal with some of Scott Big Boar Williams's knives. And the next group of knives um, come from our good buddy Scott uh, Big Boy Williams from Big Boy Knife and Gear. Scott contacted me one day. I was actually over at my neighbor's house. We were cruising around on the golf cart and I got a message from him and he said, hey, uh, do you like fixed blades? He said, well, I got one uh, I want you to check out. Or I'm, I'm, I'm getting one. I've ordered one and I'm getting it and I want you to check it out. So uh, in this conversation, you know, he starts, because I, initially I'm just under the impression, okay, he's sending a, a fixed plate out. Really stoked to check it out. Well, then he asked me, so what do you think about, uh, what's your opinion on Medford's? Striders, I'll send you out some of those too. And then he, oh, he asked about, uh, what, you know, what's your opinion on ADV knives? I'll send you out one of those too. Good night, Almighty. Well, anyway, the box arrives, chock full of knives, and uh, let's go ahead and go through the list here. The first one is going to be the uh, Civivi Plethoros, and this is the the Damascus 
and gold and sandalwood version. It's got basically a 3.45 inch uh, blade in, in Damascus, and it's got these beautiful uh, gold and sandalwood handle scales. Uh, it's a liner lock, so we've got some nice stainless steel liners there with weight reduction on both sides and it runs on bearings and the action is silly that's a, that's a killer knife and this is honestly this is the first what i would consider full size um elijah isham knife that i've experienced as well so that was a that was a first for me so that's the Savivi plethoros and next, we've got this monstrous beast but here. Well, to, when I first opened this box, this was a, a monstrous knife to me. And then after a while, not so much. But this is the uh, Strider uh, We The People Custom SMF. <laughs> I mean, that's killer right there. Look at that. That is badass. I don't care who you are. If you don't like America, looking at this will make you love America. And we got a CPM 20 CB blade, and this guy. I gotta say, I have. I don't know what I was expecting with Strider, but I did not expect it to be as light as it is. All right, next is a. Uh, this one's going to be a, a two for deal because not only is it a knife from a maker that I have yet to uh, check out and have been wanting to check out, but it is also an integral, integral um, titanium frame lock. And this is the VDK Impaler. That's a wicked, wicked looking blade right there crazy compound grind, crazy switch, and it is a titanium frame lock and thumb studs, and flipper. The action is pretty stupendous. Nicely centered blade. The VDK Impaler. And the next one is, uh, is a maker I really, really like and respect. And uh, I dig his designs. And I actually checked out the first one. I can't remember the name of it. But it was through Mass Drop before they just became Drop. But it uh, this is the uh, Bob Trezula ACTF. It is the drop version S35BN blade steel G10 handle scales, nice little titanium, a little titanium pocket clip, beefy, beefy uh, liner lock there. Don't know about any weight reduction, but it doesn't really need any because it's not a super, super duper heavy knife. I don't see any. Action on it. Pretty spectacular. And this is this is one where you uh, you want these this thumb disc and it works great. That's nice, sweet action. And it also has a very very subtle flipper tab that performs very very well. Yeah, nice tanto blade shape. There we go. Trezula's cool little dragon uh, logo. Yeah, and this is a this is this is one that I wouldn't worry about failing on me and I would trust to uh, handle some some heavy duty uh, work. Next is 
can, but this is the uh, Steel Wheel Plague Doctor, and it is every bit of huge. And this guy is ginormous. And this one's got a, uh, what's the blade length on this guy? Uh, 3.9 inches, so dang near 4 inch blade. And big old handle, and it's comfortable, man. Like, hey, <laughs> that is super comfy. I believe you could probably do some, some dirty deeds done dirt cheat with this fella. Nice beefy liner lock. But yeah, this is the steel wheel plague doctor and if you've ever seen the uh you know that plague doctor mask you see where it gets its name right there yeah, this this is a uh this will put a hurting on you in a heartbeat so the steel wheel plague doctor and next is just when you thought you had seen beefy along can't comes this fella and this is the Sean O'Connell Custom Knives um, LBXL. And that is some kind of beefy. And it's got a Nitro V blade steel. Talk about a wicked hollow grind. I mean, you can't. There's no way you can. I don't know. When you go from uh, blade stock that thick to an edge that thin, I mean, you know that that hollow grind is, is severe. Killer switch there, jumping in. Mean, I think I had messaged uh, Justin at tier one when I was messing with this thing and I was like, dude, you would not believe the ergos on this ginormous knife. I mean, it's comfortable as crap. Uh, the only issue I had with it was I I cannot uh, I cannot disengage. Uh, there we go. Look at that. I did it on camera too. It's very hard to disengage that lock uh, with your thumb. The way I was mainly doing it is kind of that way. But yeah, the action's pretty uh, pretty phenomenal. The ergos are phenomenal. And that hollow grind is absolutely phenomenal, no questions asked, no no doubt, no about it, doubt it. I got some cool little anodize in there, um, and got some force patina on this copper backspacer, which I thought was pretty daggum neat. You can see it in there. And uh, as far as the handle scales go, there's, uh, there's no weight reduction, they're just, they are slabs, I don't think. If you're buying this knife, you're not worried about how much it pays. But, just for poops and giggles, let's take a look at it. Oh, 11.66 ounces, that's all. That is all. Almost three quarters of a pound. But, heck yeah, guys. So, that's the, uh, the Sean O'Connell Custom LBXL. And next on the docket is <laughs> this. Uh, this one definitely cracked me up. And I, I greatly appreciate him uh, sending this out because I had checked out one other of these knives and, and it was the full size version. And uh, it was actually one that I'd bought and immediately returned because of the action. But this gave me renewed faith in this knife because I've always wanted to like it because I just, uh, just a, I like the concept. But so we go from one extreme to the other. We go from the Sean O'Connell uh, gargantuan to the Finch made mini bug out. So. But yeah, this, uh, like I said, this renewed my faith in, in bug outs and caused me to get mine, the one that I have, and uh, I couldn't be happier with mine. So a uh, big shout out to Scott for sending this guy out. So it's, with what, what we've seen, it's not what you would expect. So 
but yeah nice little bench made bug out and next I'm gonna show the, the case and all on this guy because it's just a cool little deal but this is the Medford Praetorian T and this is the DLT exclusive version yeah look at that that cool blade man that's that's just that's killer right there and it is thick it is thicky thick as they say titanium frame lock got that easily recognizable uh, Medford pocket clip style that, that D2 glass breaker yeah, this is a uh, definitely one cool knife and another one that I'm very grateful to have been able to check out <clears throat> so that's the Medford Praetorian the action is actually pretty daggone good for a big old knife like that alrighty and Last but not least is going to be the ADV Classic Butcher. We got ADV Classic Butcher 2016, and uh, this one is S35 BN blade steel and a titanium frame frag pattern on that bad boy frame lock and it's got that cool roller in the pocket clip for the ease of going in and out of the pocket and the action is pretty uh, pretty outstanding there you go guys ADV classic butcher well that's gonna do it guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, uber long video but I, I dang sure appreciate you uh, stopping by guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed checking out these fantastic knives and a uh, huge shout out to uh, um, Scott Big Boy Williams for letting me check these knives out because it has certainly been an experience. I enjoyed every second of it. And uh, honestly, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out, but uh, it's out now and uh, it was a blast. So uh, like I said, guys, appreciate you stopping by. You are more than welcome to come back anytime. And until next time, get out there and easy your ass off and do something nice for somebody. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.